Police are searching for three males who allegedly mobbed and robbed a high school student in Kalihi. This happened while the victim was walking home from Farrington High School earlier this month. They say the teen was on Lina Puni Street when he was confronted by the suspects. They made off with the victim's gold chain with a cross pendant, cell phone and his fanny pack. If you have any information about this, call Crime Stoppers at the number right there on your screen. On Hawaii Island, police are asking for help locating 60-year-old Jeffrey Clarkson. The Hilo resident was last seen Monday afternoon on Rainbow Drive. Clarkson may need medical assistance. He is described as 5 foot 9 inches tall, 220 pounds, was last seen wearing a black sweater and blue jeans. If you can help, call the number right there on your screen, 935-3311. The Waimea Nature Trail is closed today. Hawaii County Police shut it down after an unexploded ordinance was found in a nearby stream yesterday morning. The Army Corps of Engineers and ordinance disposal teams have been contacted. The trail is closed from Opelo Road to Kahawai Street. It's unclear when that will reopen. A brown water advisory is in effect in Hilo Bay. That's because of all the heavy rain in recent days. It's causing higher than normal pollutant levels. The Department of Health recommends staying out of the water for now to avoid any chance of infection. Historians are creating an archive of Lahaina's history and they're asking for your help. Now they're calling people to share photos, videos, documents, and physical items to help tell the town's story. The Lahaina Restoration Foundation is looking for factual and emotional stories of Lahaina before, during, and after the tragedy. Right now it's gonna be hosted on the Lahaina Restoration website and very likely um, it will also be hosted elsewhere. Uh, the 9-11 archive, for example, is um, hosted with the Library of Congress and you know there's a real likelihood that it will be hosted nationally and statewide as well. A county grant is funding this project. To submit something, email archive at lahainarestoration.org. And the surf will be easing up as well, although it's still going to be elevated on the east shore as conditions will be choppy. And heads up, starting Friday night, a swell will be moving in uh, to north and west shores. It's going to be a big one peaking on Sunday. High surf advisories will likely be posted. So a little damp, a little squishy for today and for tonight for Halloween. And then we'll see fewer showers, but we'll still see some windward and mulch showers on Friday and Saturday. Again, the shower levels will back off to some extent. And then the showers pick up again from Sunday on. Looks like it's going to be especially wet on Wednesday. Also, the winds are expected to ease up starting on Sunday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.